already December and you know what that means Christmas is coming and also November favorites time oh yeah and as you guys can see I'm filming next to my Christmas tree yes to add a little bit of more festiveness to uh, the video slash my channel um, yeah I love decorating for Christmas and for the question of the day I wanted to ask you guys what do you guys do to celebrate the holidays do you guys put up a Christmas tree how do you guys de decorate your house and what do you guys celebrate do you guys celebrate Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa whatever just tell me down below in the comments I'm really interested to know so for the first thing on my favorites I'm gonna show you guys a brush that I've been using ever since I got it about two months ago and it's the Sigma taper face brush which is number number F25 and as you guys can see the the bristles on this are tapered and they're perfect for applying bronzers or your contour or even blush I pretty much use this for everything that I apply on my face and it's just like perfect for fitting into that area underneath the cheekbone and also the bristles are so freaking soft I mean like really I just want to be passing it all over my face. Next thing I want to show you guys is a lip liner that I've been using recently and as you guys know if you guys have been watching my videos I love a dark lip and I usually only use Max Vino lip liner. Lately what I've been using is Max Current Liner and as you guys see that's what the color looks like and I'll just do a quick swatch for you. The only real difference between Current and Vino is that Current is more of a reddish uh, brownish tone and whereas Vino is more of a I think more magenta plumish color um, but this works really great with any dark lipsticks you have uh, one that I really um, love using with this one is Max Rebel lipstick which is such a beautiful shade for the fall winter whatever I like it for any time now for the smelling this month I've really been enjoying this Vera Wang princess perfume yeah the bottle is freaking adorable. It's a heart-shaped bottle and the top of it has like a little crown that you could take off and you guys could actually use this as rings, but I feel like it's way too uncomfortable to wear them as rings. But yeah, I think it's really cute and the perfume itself is really, really nice. I actually would say if you guys see this at the store, don't just smell the top because when I did that, I actually didn't like it, but then when I sprayed it on my arm, I thought it smelled wonderful, it was like youthful and in the bottle when you just smell it from there it smells kind of musky um really musky and then when you put it on on your skin it smells more a little bit more floral it smells like lilies and I think it has a little bit of vanilla in it really nice and soft uh, if you guys are looking for something that's more for the daytime I would recommend this Next thing I've really been loving this month is these earrings from Kate Spade I bought them when I went to the outlet store on Black Friday and they were 50% off the already outlet price which is like half of what they really cost and this is what they look like and they're just so adorable they're little gold bows and they were originally priced at $48 so practically $50 and when I went there to the outlet on Black Friday it was 50% off the outlet price so it ended up being like $10 I think and that's pretty much like a Claire's earring price so I totally was super happy next thing I have is something else that I bought on Black Friday because I'm shopping crazed and I decided to go at 9 p.m. the day on Thanksgiving to go shopping at the outlets and I found these Chloe earrings at Neiman Marcus and at Neiman Marcus they had a sale I think 40% off um, everything in their store so I pretty much got I actually bought two sunglasses for the price of one and they're both from Chloe but this is um, my favorite of the two. So the box is classic white and it's really really nice it's leather and then the inside you can see the sunglasses which are amazing they are so retro-ish to me um, I love the hardware on the front of it it's like scallop trimmed kind of a bronzy color and the lenses themselves are burgundy which will match with my dark lips yeah, they are so huge, but I think that every girl needs a good pair of rich bitch glasses. You know, one of those glasses when you wear, when you're not wearing any makeup and you just want to be like, uh, don't talk to me. I'm being a rich bitch. And then you strut. You strut back. You strut to your car or something. Now for my hair, I've really been loving this Bumble and Bumble spray to mode. And as you can see, this is the packaging. It's such a cute purple uh, can. But I love this hairspray because it doesn't immobilize your hair like a lot of hairsprays do because they're so such a strong hold. This is more of a finishing spray slash light hold. I like to use this hairspray just to set down my flyaways and baby hairs when I'm doing my hair up in a bun. 
Um, and yeah, I really recommend this for anyone who needs like a minimum hold hairspray, just like a light mist. And also the scent is really good for this. It's not like a stinky hairspray. Yeah. Now for the ears, I've really been loving this song that my best friends Amanda and Stefano introduced to me. And if you're under 18, maybe you shouldn't be uh, listening to this. But um, it's from Rihanna. It's from her new album, Talk That Talk. And if you guys haven't heard that CD yet, it is so sexual. And the song that I've been putting on nonstop, replay, 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 in my car, is Rihanna's um, cockiness. That song is so kinky, sexual, everything explicit, XXX. And the whole thing is just so catchy and definitely like a really good dance song. If you guys like Rihanna's S&M song, then you guys will definitely like her new album. It's pretty much on that same wavelength on sexuality and stuff, so yeah. So for the book this month, it's more of a serious book. And it's a book called Lucky, and it's by the author Alice Siebold. And if you guys haven't heard of her before, she actually wrote the book The Lovely Bones, which was actually made into a movie a couple of years ago. And um, if you guys watch that movie, you guys know that she writes about um, things that are really impactful and stuff. So this book is actually a memoir of her experience of getting raped and beaten uh, while she, she was in college in uh, Syracuse. And it talks about her experience after, after getting raped and then having to file the police reports and stuff. And all I have to say is that this book is really, really heart-wrenching and it makes you feel for her so much and the fact that she's still alive and is writing such amazing works is wonderful and I definitely recommend this. And it's on the top of my favorite books, so yeah, you guys should check that out. So yeah, that was my November favorites. I hope you guys liked it and I know the book that I chose was kind of a more serious book, but if you guys want to go check out my blog, I'll be posting more pictures there and information, which is www.paintedredwith3ds.blogspot.com and I'll put that right there for you guys. And yeah, I'll also leave a link down below. But yeah, until next time, see you guys soon and happy holidays. Bye!